Welcome back friends. Uh, let's talk a little bit about Chemostat. Now Chemostat as you all know is a machinery which is used for maintaining a continuous culture. Now for understanding Chemostat you must know what is a continuous culture, right? Continuous culture is uh, a culture process or a culture technique where we need to culture a bacterial load uh, continuously throughout the time, right? That's why it is called continuous culture because actually there are majorly two different types of culture major two types actually three types but majorly two types one is a batch culture where we are having a batch system that is we are having a cultured vessel where we are having all the nutrients and we put our inoculum and we let it grow at the normal uh, at their optimum temperature for a uh, d uh, for a particular period of time that's a batch culture process but sometimes what you need to know sometimes we need to culture that uh, microorganism mostly bacteria uh, in a continuous manner so that they continuously grow and divide and divide and then we can elude the contain of microbial cells out of that uh, vessel right so we need to do those things so for that reason uh, this is the process called uh, this is the machinery called chemostat that we hire that we use to maintain and balance that uh, continuous culture process so what we are having we are having nothing but it's not a very fascinating machine it's indeed it's a very simple drawing it is a vessel culture vessel just like the batch culture but definitely for continuously maintaining a, a culture we need to have continuous supplement for nutrients obviously medium which is supplied by medium fresh medium means fresh nutrients for the growth of bacteria and also bacteria can produce many excretory materials many bad materials toxic materials for them so we need to excre excrete that out we need to take that out of the medium too otherwise they cannot grow otherwise the growth of bacteria may slow so for that reason we need to exclude them out as well as uh, once the culture are dead once the bacteria are done with it and once they are producing our product because most of the time this process is of batch culture or continuous culture are taken in industrial sectors where we use bacteria or in other microorganism and we put some substrate in and we allow that microorganism to convert that substrate into product right so here comes the role of bacteria in industry so once the product is being made we need to elude that product out of this uh, whole container and that should be done if you maintain the constant rate of the conversion of substrate into product we can do it in the batch way that once the product conversion is done then we stop the reaction we take out it and we filter it we get the product and we set up a new batch but for continuous culture we continuously do this task throughout the time now for that reason remember two important thing one is the fresh medium input as well as fresh uh, oxygen input because if the process is in uh, if the process is aerobic uh, which uh, demands a lot of uh, oxygen to be mixed with the media we need to supply the oxygen so both these things medium as well as gas fresh air we need to supply them all together so two imports are required and one exporting region to to take out the eluent uh, eluent uh, containing the microbial cells right so we need to take that too so we need to have these two different uh, sections extra uh, than the batch culture. Batch culture is completely closed but in this case we can see three in, uh, two imports and one export system is there. So imports are actually one for fresh medium reservoir and it have a flow rate regulator because if the flow rate is too much higher then it may jam this it may overflow it right so for that we need to have a flow rate regulator there and we need to have a air or other gas insertion right so here we are having sterile air or gas insertion device it's nothing but uh, tunnel like structure but it is definitely sterile uh, sterility is the biggest factor to maintain a chemostat because there are openings right so once there are openings there is a chance of uh, air coming in and out from other regions or water coming in and out from outside which may contaminate uh, the materials so for preventing that we need to have a tight regulation of this uh, of this openings right and we are actually doing so and on the other hand we have the excretion system where we are having uh, we have a uh, we are having this uh, tunnel like structure again another pipe through which we are having the overflow of all those nutrient materials coming out right so this is the schematic representation of the whole continuous culture device so chemostat is nothing but a continuous culture device right maintaining uh, maintaining a culture inside uh, that huge chamber right so that's the whole process of chemostat and how we use this chemostat for completing the continuous culture system right or for maintaining a continuous culture so that's it guys and i hope that's helpful thank you